Ron was one of the very first, he was the very first uh, musician that I met back when I moved up from LA to Berkeley in 1974, and I met him at Sproul Plaza. He was just sitting on the steps playing a, a dobro, like a national steel guitar, and he was playing a bunch of country blues, and Robert Johnson, and Jimmy Reed, and Elmore, and stuff like that. And uh, I walked up, and he was very approachable, and, and, and asked me what kind of harmonica I had, and I said I got an A, and he goes, hey man, you know roller coaster. And, uh, so, so that meant that, I, that he knew something about blues. So I ended up uh, becoming friends with him right away, and he turned me on to the entire scene in the Bay Area. I met all, all the great, uh, great people like Sonny Rose, and J.J. Malone, and, uh, Cool Papa, Mississippi Johnny Waters. Uh, I found out about Junior Watson and Gary Smith through, through Rob. Uh, Rick Estrin, all kinds of people that I got to know later on, not too later on. And uh, so he, so I really owed him from the very beginning because he gave me my introduction to the blues scene in the Bay Area. And he was always very uh, willing to help, you know, young up-and-comers and so on. He was a couple of years older than me. So I'm going to do some songs that Ron was known for, and I know I'm not going to do them justice like he would. But uh, I'll just do the best I can. This is one he used to do all the time. I put him on a Jimmy Reed tribute back in 2013, and he couldn't stop thanking me for putting him on it. And this is a song he tore up by Jimmy Reed called Honest I Do.
down the street. I saw Bob Walsh right here. I saw Kevin Zeffi. We decided let's try to get a bike deep somewhere. And they said, what's happening? I said, you wait one minute, and I'll tell you all about it. And I said, yeah.
play one right now off of a CD that literally is hot off the press. It's not even available online yet. It's going to be available on September 1st. It's called Mark Hummel's East Bay Blues Balls. And it's basically recordings from 1976 to 1988. And I got at least three Ron Thompson numbers on this. Uh, one with Barbecue Bark, it's just killer. And then his single, uh, I think it was Finger Poppin' Records or something like that, a 45. And one, one side was uh, I'm Shaking, and the other side was this song right here. It's a Ron original called Freight Train. <laughs> Thank you. 
so much, ladies and gentlemen, for showing up tonight. We got the great Steve Freud coming up here with his hand in just one minute. But I want to introduce to you, this is Kadar Roy on the upright thing. Hello, from Kadar. From the Alvin Bishop Big Fun Trio, give it up for Bob Welsh on the guitar. And original resistor, how about it for Larry Dan on the drum? And this man right here I've known since before he was with Joe Lewis Walker. How about it for Kevin Suffy on the piano? 